Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be solving question 15 from the first chapter of Hippler textbook mechanics of materials. And in this one, we need to determine the resulting internal loading on the cross section through point C of the players. And there is a pin at point A and the jaw at PR smooth. And that smoothing here means that we don't need to, so we don't consider any friction or any horizontal component at B. So we can start with the free body diagram of one of the handles. We can go maybe with the top part, this one. So I'm just gonna show it in here because uh, my drawing is not the greatest. And after that, we can try our section at point C. Probably easier to consider only the right part. But if we wanna go with the right part, uh, we need to find the force at point B, which would be this normal force meaning call it B. And we have to figure this one out. The easiest way for going for Finding B is just to go with the moment about point A. Obviously, we are in equilibrium, so sum of all forces equal to zero, and same for the moment. And if you want to do that, we have counterclockwise always positive. So basically, we have the moment of 20 kN about A. So it's a clockwise moment minus 20 times. And we have to find the vertical distance from A to the line of action, which is what we have in here. So we need to figure out this distance. And we already have that vertical distance. It will be 120 millimeter. So 120, we don't need to do any unit conversion because it will be canceled at the end. But we can do unit conversion as well and the other moment is the moment of b but since it's a clockwise moment we have a positive sign b times distance would be 40 millimeters equal to zero so here we can find our b 20 times 120 divided by 40 so three that's going to give us 60 newton for b now that we have this uh we can move on to the free body diagram of the little part that I'm going to show it in, I'm just going to do our section that we need in red. And the reactions that we have in here, we can call it this one, the normal one, NC, and one vertical to that one, we can show it with VC or any other variable we want to call it. And here we're going to consider another moment here, MC, and we have to figure out all of these in here. I'm going to go with black to differentiate it from the previous part. So same thing, we have our equilibrium equations and we're going to start with some of all forces in y direction and we're going to call our x and y here is equal to zero. So what we have in y direction is for that little piece that I showed in red. So we're talking about this one. We have the force B that is applying in that part. So we have B minus vc is equal to zero so our vc would be 60 newton no negative sign that shows the correct direction for vc is downward which is what we consider going to go with some of all forces in x direction in order to find our nc so the only thing that we have in x direction is nc meaning that one is zero so nothing for that and the last part is the moment we can do the moment about point C counterclockwise again positive. So basically we have the moment of MC, we have the moment of B first of all, that if we look at it, it will be counterclockwise moment and the vertical distance to the line of action is this little distance in here, which we know is 15 millimeter. So we have B, which is our force 60 times the vertical distance 15 millimeter. Keep in mind, we need to divide it by a thousand in here. and we consider our MC clockwise, so we have a negative side is equal to zero. So our MC here would be, we can cancel out one of the zeros, 16 times 15 will be 19 divided by 100, so 0 0.9 Newton meter. And that's going to be the last reaction that we have at point C or the moment. So hope everything was clear. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Check out the playlist. We are uh, covering different textbooks in this channel. Let me know if you guys have any specific problem uh, from one of these textbooks that we can cover in the next videos. And you guys take care. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.